episode of Riding the Reaper. Today we just out here for a nice cars and coffee. You can see all the nice cars in the background there. There's the Yusuf Peterson out there doing his thing. Um, not too bad of a turnout for a cars and coffee. Um, I'll show you around here. You can see the Honda squad out here. <laughs> so, yeah. Mr. Nostalgic there in the background. Motoring Mayhem is also doing his thing over there at the back. Um, since it's not too far away, we might make a turn at Shelby later on as well. Um, and uh, maybe my friend Wayne over at Akamon Motors as well. Just to go say hi. Maybe he's got a couple of nice cars standing around. We can take a look at that as well. Let's get Mr. <laughs> Mr. Yusuf doing his thing here. So the people come here for Mr. Yusuf Peterson doing his thing out here, Mabu. Hi. The hustling, the grind, the grind. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. We find enough. We find enough. I'm not saying like this. Stand like that. Yeah, I have the old man. I have the old man, like I'm in my chops. What's up, guys? How you doing? Please go to this guy's channel. Yeah, nice. Just like, by me, you come here, so. Just smash it, smash Just it. Smash it. it. Yeah, we're thinking of maybe going to Shelby after this. Shelby's just down the road. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make a turn there. Go check what they look like. Is it cars there? Yeah. We go. There's some nice cars there. We flipping going. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mr. Rush one VP. He asked me for my logo. You see, he even ripped out his uh, gimbal over here. Now I have to do the same. <laughs> Why are you putting the gimbals out? Everyone, everyone has their gimbals out. What is this like a gimbal meet now? It's like, everyone just have the gimbals out, my bro. Now I'm just having a gimbal. Anyone gimbal brush? It was seven. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's got it's got new bearings, new bearings in. How much kilo was this at Milton? This is how the pros do it, my bro, and we out here, look at this, and we out here with gimbals, my bro, this man got the full Ronin set up. Is that enough smoke for you guys? <laughs> Is that enough smoke? I, I think you... <laughs> yeah, the main says out. <laughs> we just came to come and film coffee. <laughs> Are you gonna play? I played it now. Hey? Now nah, I'm gonna get copyrighted, my bro. Yo, you guys, who was that? Who was that that did that burnout? I don't know who that was. I didn't see a burnout. I saw, I didn't see a burnout. <laughs> I didn't, did you, I, I, who was that? I don't know. The, the Master Avenger. I don't know where he went. So, so, my bro. That's true. 
You also? No I'm getting mine. No LSD. My, mine is one wheel peel as well. Yeah, only and uh, only when the road is wet. Only when the road is wet. Mate, and when when the cops come, eh, then you just say, "See, I was calling. I was calling right now. I was calling. You you interrupt." You interrupted my fucking phone call. I was just about to. I was. I was talking. Hey, what are you guys up to now? We're gonna go to Shelby down the road. Organized. Now he's gone. Shelby's just down the road, and RTR's right next to them. So we're gonna go there and check what they have. Okay. Like outside. They have. They normally have cars standing outside. Like like RTR RTR Mustangs and stuff like that outside. I'm just gonna go there. That was my birthday. Didn't knock down. Yeah. That was not. That was the plan for my birthday. Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm gonna call you. All right. The eggs? Yeah, nice. have like four or five videos of the same burnout. So. <laughs> yeah, everyone's channel. That's why I. And it's different that's perspectives. Why, no, no, different that's perspectives. Why I didn't. And everyone. You went from the side or the back. I was in front. I was, I was in the right. At the right I'm going to mention that in the video. I'm going to be like, okay, yeah. go watch yours for the front, yours for the back, <laughs> mine's for the side. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got a follow shot. He's um, nostalgic psychology. Well, I don't know what he's going to see. He's just going to see smoke. Yeah, I got the, the side shot. You got the, the side, side shot. Nice. Okay, see, there you go. What you do? That's thumbnail. That's thumbnail. People are going to watch. Oh shit, that was raucous. Wait, wait, wait. Like, wait. <laughs> Everyone use the same thumbnail. There was one. No. Yo. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm going to make a thumbnail of it. NG printing fucking. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so we're out here with Mr. Wayne himself here at Akaman Motors and uh, yeah, we're just checking out a few of his cars that he's got over here and uh, it's unbelievable. As you can see just behind me, <laughs> like these are just a few of the things that he's got that he's working on a nice c4 there the back twin turbo and uh yeah take a look at this ford galaxy what motor is she running it's got a 351 windsor in it it originally came up with a cleveland but uh, some other mechanics decided that uh, it needed a windsor in it yeah Thankfully, the owners kept the Cleveland sitting one side. The so. Cleveland's a good motor, though. It's Very a nice, motor. nice it's motor. motor. It's just the parts aren't as commonly available as a Windsor. As a Windsor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, people people like replacing. Um, well, they they like replacing their motors with a uh, Cleveland, but the Cleveland's just very hard to come by with, with yeah, the parts, like you said. Parts on it is where the problem comes from. That's the only problem with it. Oh, and this is my mags, bro. Oh. This is the American Racing Thrust mags, eh? I actually don't know. Hey, you brought them in. I think these are. This is the exact mag I'm doing on mine. The the but chrome this. chrome lip. Talk about quality, though. Oh my way. I like a, I like a 60 car with the, with the red vinyl. Yeah. I love these couch seats though. But That's this, like listen, fucking best. Listen. Yo. Oh my word. That's like so solid. 1967. And listen to it and look at it. I mean, come on. And, the, and, you, can, and you can just stand and look at the body lines and there's nothing out of place. It is beautiful. There's it's nothing out of place. Really as soon as I'm done with it, it's going to be even better. Guys, look at this. This is like a mirror. Literally a mirror. This thing is so hot. What the hell? Check this thing here on the top of here. Yeah, but that's a Frankenstein, eh? Oh, is it a... That's a Frankenstein. <laughs> Listen, I am oh, a Chevy God. man admitted. So how do you fix a board? Put the heartbeat of a Chevy in it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's got a Chevy 250 in it. Jeez. Oh, my word, with the side pipes as well. I'll drop it in a second and I'll actually show you. Jeez. Because uh, I'm rewiring from rear to the front. Okay. This thing, uh, the poor client bought the thing. Uh, two days after he bought it, the thing caught on fire. Sure. Oh, my word. Yeah, the company that built it, well, let's just say they ripped them off. So, um, yeah, and that's a that's a uh, 367 six, and that's and a, a 69. Oh my word, are those yours or is that no, 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 they're customers? customers uh, yeah. 
and the sure. I've got engines stripped everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, I, <laughs> I can, you know, can check. There's some pallets sitting there, you know. I mean, this workshop is, yeah, it's heaven for me. <laughs> this is heaven for any, I think, any car enthusiast. I think if... Well, I should like to hope so. Uh, I mean... People just don't understand. I think people now, um, with another channel, Liberable, um, he also just got into, um, he drove the, the new Mustang. Yeah. And he's getting into... Um, Not to mention, he drove, didn't he just drive the new Jeep? He drove the track walk, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's getting into, he got into American Muscle now. He tasted that, that, that pure uh, American Muscle yet. Now I think he's going to buy him a Mustang because... On his, uh, yeah, he keeps posting Mustangs on his on his uh, man, Instagram and stuff. So shouldn't do Mustangs, man. I mean, Mustangs are cool, but Mustangs are now too common because unfortunately yeah. they sell them here. Yeah, he you should. Know? I think he, he he spoke about a C10, or they're doing a C10 oh, build. C10. Yeah. Awesome. Or fleet size. Are still available for it from America. I bring them in all the time. No. Yeah. Parts have, are available for the F100s. You don't, you don't have a fleet side though, eh? Or no. no. Someone, someone only had a fleet side. But a fleet side is also nice. But they're not, they're not. The parts aren't that available. No, but what's as nice a, about the fleet side, right? Is of course the load bed. Yeah. And that's what everybody loves. That's about. what everyone wants it. Yeah. You know. But uh, yeah, he's. I think he's. He's definitely gonna get himself a nice like American muscle now. I don't think he's gonna go. But you see that the scene, the 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 car scene in Cape Town or in in SA itself is changing because. I think people are tasting that American muscle, and now they're sought. They're, they're, it's sought after now. They want those cars. I think it's more readily available now because channels have opened up to people, which yeah. we've never had before. Yeah, right. Which I we struggle. Chip Foose, and you get to see what he does design wise. Yeah. I mean, you've got Gas Monkey Garage. Now everybody knows Richard Gordon. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, this. Is oh, Chip people... Foose is a legend, though. Oh, that guy's a legend. Man. Awesome. You know, I mean, because of those people. Right, and because of what they do, I mean, you look at the guy Rust Valley Restorers in uh, Canada. Yeah. What he does, I mean, he's literally got hundreds of cars in his backyard, and he restores them. Yeah. Right, and because of that, people are realizing now that vehicles like this, yeah. what they can be. You get, I think, you appreciate it much more if you put that little bit of effort into the car instead of going out. Um, I mean. We, we know it already, we're in the car scene so much that you just see people going out buying Golf 7Rs or go buy a Mercedes AMG or stuff. Stunning cars, but I don't think they appreciate it as much as if, no, you, if, you, if you go out and buy something that you actually work but, on. Built, not bought, if, if yeah, you want to. But think of things from uh, a younger perspective. Yeah. Okay? When you are... 16 17 18 years old what's the first thing you can get your hands on it's either a beetle yeah right and you can always put a porsche engine into a beetle yeah or a subaru <laughs> put a nice subaru, bar, yeah, boxer subaru. engine yeah I've done it. I've put we're planning on doing something like that into a volkswagen carrel sure <laughs> and it goes like stink i mean when people <laughs> you see a 1988 caravel next to you and this oak is there in his mercedes and you go and put your foot down and this caravel pulls away from the merc and the guy's eyes in the merc like, <laughs> but that's the, the hell that's the happen? best response like ever that's you like know? the best response ever but i mean you, you know that the only thing that you can do when you're that age is get into something which is like a volkswagen yeah and i mean the modifications that you can do to volkswagen i love the volkswagens i have had mm. golfs i've had jettas my most favorite car of all was my mark 2 jetta yeah the mark yeah. 2 jumbos are nice as they well they're amazing, amazing I had cars the clx no. so i had the aircon and everything no. and i lowered it because i had the you know we, we used to buy the kunik <laughs> lowering springs. Uh, the lowering springs yeah, so yeah. i bought the 60 mil lowering springs put those in i bought the um i actually bought a kit side skirts and uh, bumper extensions uh, from uh, England for it. Oh. And I did that and I converted it. I had oh. the Hockenheim R's on, which sure. I don't even know if you can even get Hockenheim I don't think you get them anymore, yeah. And I had the Eagle GTA tires on. Sure. So it stuck like... Those, Eagles, those Eagles look nice on them though. The, the, the multi-spoke multi -spoke I Eagles I are missed, so nice. I wish I was able to get back every single car I've ever owned. Yeah. Because I'm I wish I could buy if I had if I had eleven grand now my my f Cortina my very first car I had a Mark Five Cortina. I, you saying, it was yeah. on, on, I think you had it on um, your 
I think it was on the Instagram that I posted Instagram it. Yeah, posted someone it was selling it for eleven yeah, k. If I had that money, I would go buy buy yeah, it back. I, I but they dropped it. They dropped it. That was the two liter GL. Me and my dad rebuilt the motor ourselves, and uh, we bought the um, bought the motor to two point three. It was a two liter GL. Uh, V6 pistons, cut the crank, everything. That, that car, ask him, that car is a beast. If you didn't and if get I, it focused, I yeah, if I if I had eleven grand now, I'd drive straight there and go and buy it. It's fucked now though, but it's it, I would have just when, to have. When, to, when aren't they? Yeah, that's a hardcore part. And you don't get your money back that you spent no, on it as well. You do look if you're gonna do something for the sake of money. Yeah. don't do it. Yeah, exactly. So it's got the five tech fuel. Oh yes, too. with the new. Um, I saw they started importing these I now. I import them and I put them on. Same with but, the, but that's so cool. They're self-tuning though, eh? Yeah. Well, yeah. you can tune them. You set them up. And then okay. once that, it's self-learning. So That is cool. so awesome. I mean, I, I built... This was actually the engine that I had that I built for myself, but I didn't have a car yet to put it into. And this guy's car was so badly burnt. I mean, yeah. here you can see the wiring saw that I'm I can see the... There's the wiring, the original wiring that goes into the firewall. Now, if you're looking at check the corner, out distributor. <laughs> if you check in the corner there, you'll see no. my wiring that I've done. And then if you look under the fender, sure. right? If you look under the fender, you'll see how my wiring is tucked away. Oh, nice. All the way through. All this is nice wire as well. Well, I mean, I, I put the wiring here. Yeah, I've completely made the new wiring room. all from scratch here. Yeah sure it's all done from scratch i make that's, it all myself that's crazy so when people say to me how long is my build gonna take and when i say listen it could be a year <laughs> you know it well, depends why now this is a proper bronco ford bronco my brew this thing is so hot Oh my god. I would so badly want one of those. Got the Lumina. It's like a body lean. That sounds mean. I have to but it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that though. That actually looks yo. Very proud of what I've done here. That's nice. And of course, I've put the LED lights in, so I brought them as well. Oh, that's cool. You don't see any of the older pieces, those. No. 